I cried when I read this clip for the first time. My mother also uh, read it before me, wrote, read, read, read it before me, uh, and she was also crying, actually. She's right there. Thank you for making this movie. Thank you for taking the risk of uh, portraying these characters. And thank you for what you've given us uh, in terms of emotional and an amazing story. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. The first thing I want to ask you is about the first time you read the script. And I want you to talk about your emotions, like fear and anger or sadness and happiness, all these things that you felt the first time. When I first, well, actually, I read the script one time because um, Lucas didn't want us to go and learn text. He wanted us to uh, give our own words to the mm -hmm. movie. Uh, when I read the script, it's surely my mother and my father first read the script before me and they said, they, they cried, actually. Even if it's only some words on paper, that they cried. And so when I began reading the scripts, it's very normal. I was more thinking uh, how I was going to do it. So I was, I was more thinking techni technically uh, about the movie, how I was going to get into that character, how I was going to create those emotions. And even with that, I, I cried a bit. So it's not that I didn't, yeah, I really had the story in me and I understand what he wanted to, yeah, to, to give the world. And we talked a, a lot about the subject with him. I cried when I read the script for the first time. My mother also uh, read it before me, wrote, read, read, read it before me. Uh, and she was also crying, actually. She's right there on her phone. Yeah. yeah, when I was reading it, I was just like crying. When I finished the script, I wanted to, to call Lucas and Gustav to like, okay, we have to begin now. Like I was too excited. I really wanted to start. And I, I was also a bit scared of that one scene, that one where I had to cry. Because I never, I'm someone who is really scared of showing his emotion. I don't know why it's, it's been always been there. So I'm not someone who will you won't see if I'm sad really usually. So I was really scared to show my emotion in, in, in front of a camera, in front of many people. Um, but actually it, it was, it turned really good. I was not scared anymore when I was shooting. So that was good. I heard and I read some of your interviews that you have given. I know that even that you met Lucas on, on a train and I yes. know that you had a, a very good chemistry in the audition and you write each other's names when you said like the best people in the world something like that yes mostly yeah. person you most love i also know eden that you said that it was difficult for you at the beginning to understand leo and what he was doing and why and you said also that um after doing the movie it was difficult for you to let the character go right yeah. I, I want you to talk about that and i don't know if that happened to you also gustav I think it was hard to getting into the character of Leo because he made some difficult choice that I usually didn't understand. And Lucas was every day asking us questions like, why do you think Leo is doing is making yeah. those decisions? Or why do you think Remy did that? Or why do you think is, is Leo is not showing the emotion? What do you think? So he always asked us questions to think about it ourselves and to think what Leo was really in mind. And that really helped us. It took like two or three weeks to really understood what Leo was doing in his head. And then after the movie, it was hard to leave the character of Leo because it was always that, that one little boy. He was also with, with, with me. Like when I saw the movie for the first time, I, will, I also watched it with Leo next to me, actually. I was like, this is what, you, this is what we made together. So yeah. And oh, I, yeah, I think he's. I, I think I think he's always with me right now. For me, I think um, getting out of the character, like he said, was hard, and not only because of the character itself, but also because you lived in that character for so long that that now the 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 filming is done. You don't want to leave you want to continue because you had such a great time but getting into character for me was um, much um, easier than i thought it would be because when i read the script i didn't know how i was going to do it but when i was there the first day on set 
and I played my first scene, I found my character and I knew uh, what Remy would say on what he what, what was asked to him. So it's not like Leo, I think, but I but my my character Remy is pretty close to me, uh, my personality too. So I think it was easier for me to get into Remy. I admire Lucas, the director, a lot um, because of the movies that he has Me done. Too. Yeah, of course. And because he likes to talk about his own experience, the catharsis that was this movie for him and how when he was younger, he took distance from some people. From because his of male the, friendships. Yeah, because of all the pressures of what masculinity uh, has to be for some people. And I want you uh, as a new generation I want to know about your perspective of, of this and how you live that with your friends, what you have heard and, and what do you think about that? Well, I think now I'm in a dance school, so everyone is really open. Really, everyone is really open with their sexuality, so it's more helpful, I, I think. But I remember that me in the elementary school, elementary school, people were really scared about showing what they felt for each other. Like two boys, were, they were scared to be too close with each other. I had also that thing, the same feeling as I had, as Lucas had, actually. I think that now people are more expressing themselves, that they're like less scared to show that how they feel, I think. But I th also, I think that the fear is still here. I don't know how to explain it. I think it's it, it has changed a bit because more and more people are telling their sexualities or saying like, okay, I am this. But more and more people are also careful with expressing themselves because we, you, you have also people like in the street who can like beat you up because you say something that you love someone or this stuff. So, yeah. Well, I didn't live uh, the same story as Lucas, of course, uh, or as Eden, but um, I, I mean, when I'm with my friends, I'm also in the art school where sexuality is not a problem, what is very nice. What was remarkable when my friends went to the movie is when they went alone, they more could um, get into the movie and understand it because they didn't have to, because when, there was, when they were with a friend, um, they were scared that, they, that they, their friend would think something of him. So when they didn't show their emotion, they didn't show uh, that they maybe even like the movie but when they're alone they say to me yeah the message you gave is incredible mm -hmm. yeah exactly the awards and the recognition that this movie has had around the world because we can talk about Cannes and Hollywood and Mexico, of course, because uh, the movie was in Morelia last year and it's coming to movie. And I'm very excited about the whole world to see that. And I want to ask you about that, the different audiences that you have talked to and the differences and similarities of oh, the reactions. That's actually a nice question because every now, it's like a long time we're now with close and every time we went to an award show or uh, even in other country, the people are different. Yes. The, here in America, the people are soup. They come to you. They they talk very easy. But in my country, uh, in Belgium, the people first need a moment to to themselves before they come to. So the people are very different. And but even if they really liked it, they um, they want to say it to me. They, the people are not going to maybe, are going to express themselves on another um, way. Gustav and Eden, thank you so much for your time. I, I wish you the best. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. It was a pleasure to meet you. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. You too.